We're gonna do a smoked brisket. It's a great thing to knock out for the holidays, um, but of course also probably have leftovers and it'll lead to other great meals. So um, Scott, come on in here. I just wanna say that Scott's a little shy about it, but he's secretly a brisket master. Like he's done a lot of them. I'm gonna yeah. learn from you today. Oh, wow. Oh, no pressure. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> so yeah, I'll get this trimmed up. One of the things that I enjoy about doing this is that I love to demonstrate the fact that you can cook a full Packer Cut brisket on uh, a PK360. Um, you, you can absolutely do it. So I'm just gonna jump in and trim this down. There's a lot of uh, unusable material um, on, a, on a brisket right out of the bag like this. You know, for instance, I just shaved off an enormous piece of, you know, just fat and gristle here and we've still got plenty to go here so you just kind of have to work at this you can probably trim these forever you know so you just have to get it to a point that you're comfortable with so that's a good you know like i really want kind of half of that gone bronson this is in pretty decent shape um and i'm gonna go ahead and hit it with this Thundering Longhorn. Uh, it's coarse black pepper, it's cumin, it's chilies. Uh, it's got a little espresso in it. It's just really good on all kinds of beef. Here's a little hack. Just get yourself some heavy duty foil like this, and it's gonna um, help me protect this enormous brisket from the direct heat when I stick it on the grill. As this uh, brisket cooks, it's gonna shrink up and we're gonna be able to reposition it on the grill. I'm gonna shut that down, open the vent that's on the opposite side of where the heat is, We've got the oxygen coming in under the coals over here and we're exhausting it on the opposite upper side. So we're just drawing diagonally through the grill. This brisket's gonna stay in this grill. Um, that's a, it's a big brisket. It's gonna be in there for you know eight, 10 hours. We're gonna try to maintain a temperature on the grill around 225 to 250 and we'll use our oxygen and our fuel to manage that. Holy father of garlic, you did it. <laughs> what do you amazing. think? It looks amazing. It really does. I know. So uh, we just had to take a chunk of it so we could um, get into it, but it looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Take a chunk means sample, hearty right. sample. That's right. No, it's really beautifully cooked. I mean, the ring line is amazing. And uh, boy, that thundering longhorn gives such a deep, meaty flavor. So Scott, this is so great. It's perfection as is, but there's so much you can do if there's leftover brisket, right? Yep. Breakfast tacos. Ramen. Ramen, oh my God, and a bowl of ramen. Mm -hmm. Could also make a great sandwich. I bet Aaron would love this. I think you would too. Recipe for smoked brisket with thundering longhorn is on fireandsmokesociety.com. Check it out. And if you want a deeper dive into smoking a brisket, check out Scott's PK.edu uh, from start to finish. Hey, thank you so much. It was a blast to cook with you today. I had a great time today. Thank you.